What's going on everybody? This is Aaron from the one and only Armin Films and today we are going over two two awesome products exclusively at prismlenseffects.com and they are the Kaleidoscope Prism and the new variable ND that they have just released a little while ago. I believe in the beginning of the year and it is one of the best products that is in my bag and letting you know if it is worth it or if it isn't so let's get right into it okay so what we're gonna do is start off with the first product which is the kaleidoscope 150 meters prism from prismlenseffects.com from the first review of when I did unbox it, I was like, wow, what is this like thing? I thought it was like a boulder, but it's actually a lot heavier than I thought considering it is all real glass. And if you could see with the framing and the actual cuts, it is, it is meant to capture some awesome dope shots. I do believe this frame is a metal grip, so you can either put two fingers or you can even put four. So I think I recommend like four, especially if you're just doing run and gun stuff for photos or videos. It is truly an awesome piece when you're like in the zone of taking photos or videos. Now, what is the cost of this actual kaleidoscope, this awesome beast? It is around $79 before shipping and taxes. Now, like I said, you can kind of go around between photos and videos. Me personally, I think I definitely like photos. I haven't gotten the chance to do real videos with it yet, but for right now, the results as far as photos comes out pretty crazy I believe like pretty interesting because I've never used something like this before especially from like like the Amazon ones or the third-party ones like I've used like my friends but like me to have my own and be so different is like what makes everybody stand out like be different you know and that's what Jacob Owens was able to accomplish so let's just get right into the examples that I had actually taken of my friend at the boardwalk at the pier and let's just go right through them and review them about all the photos and what actually came out depending on how we held it and how the day went it was an overcast day too so we can just go right in right into the photos one by one okay so we are gonna go right into the first picture which will be I believe we can kind of jump right into picture five because I have multiples of these so picture five displays uh, my subject in the center really so it's kind of interesting how it kind of aligned like that where they're kind of like in like a triangular shape type of thing right now you can see the right is like the most clearest it looks like he's staying to the right but in reality he's in the middle that's kind of like what the prism does it kind of like splits the diopters of everything and the top is a little blurry giving like a 3d look and of course the one on the left is a little faded kind of exposing the horizontal bridge in new york in the back this is literally right at the pier with an overcast day we're talking maybe like 6 6 30 with a little bit of peak of sunlight so it wasn't too bad and it didn't expose too much or mess up my image i'm just showing an example of what i was able to capture that day depending on i was holding it i was actually holding it vertical so that's like really much it we're gonna go right into the next photo okay so this is another interesting photo this is picture 16 in my photo gallery this is splitting him on top and bottom kind of like a like a two-sided thing like a mirror effect but it's still like you know in the same posture the top is actually clear this time he's not on the bottom which is very interesting why it came out like that and if you look slightly to the right it gave him like a kind of like a like a little silhouette type of thing where you can't really see his body but you can see like the outline in the black and other shape the bottom it gives that little like dreamy type of 3d effect in a way depending on how you're holding it because like i said there is a lot of cuts in this thing for sure so you know it really depends how you're really holding it and what you're really like focusing on and what you're really trying to capture so this is just one other example we're gonna go right into one more you know we're gonna go right into the picture 13 this is uh, him looking out into the horizon to the left now like I said every single picture it looks like it's off it looks like he's on the right or the or the left but in reality every photo is in the middle like I'm telling you like he is dead center so it's crazy how it makes you stand out to the left or the right or top or bottom in such like a diagonal horizontal vertical way depending on how you're holding it like I said it literally all depends because of the cuts so definitely personal preference 
uh, for like I said for photos this is just like a quick example of what to expect when you're getting this image like I said for videos it will definitely be different depending on if you're moving it like that or if you're just doing like any type of uh, movement form whatever like I said it all comes down to preference 100% so in my opinion is it worth it absolutely for the price absolutely for super awesome handcrafted material and glass and it's not no uh, cheap ruggedy thing and you know it's not letting off any unnatural artificial colors like blue or green or purple this is just straight clear glass they do have a rainbow one I do believe that one's back order two or out of stock I'm not 100% sure I haven't gone on in a few days but like I said you can definitely pick this up exclusively at princeoflenseffects.com for sure and check out Jacob Owens he is the creator of that along with other businesses that you could definitely look into so enough of this awesome prism from prism lens effects let us get right into the new variable nd filter they had all right so moving on to my last product second and last product is their cinema hard stop variable nd filter with no other than the adapter rings that you can purchase for your lenses because every lens size is different let's get right into it now for starters this is definitely a lightweight product it is not as heavy as the prism but it is super lightweight this is an awesome design specially made glass just like the prism this awesome blue this royal blue pops to the max it's not just standard black like most of them are or you know like the Peter McKinnon one that's gold but this blue is beautiful what's very genuine like how cinema lenses are is the fact that there's hard stop markings on them they're really really tiny on here so it's kind of hard to focus that but it goes anywhere between a 0.3 to a 2.1 so you can see right there like I'm gonna focus it right there if I'm turning it all the way you're gonna see this go super black so let's just go right there and boom look how dark that is so you can imagine when it is super super bright outside and it's midday like 12 1 o'clock and noon it is super bright and your highlights and shadows are blasting and you need to take photos or videos this is the most essential need that anybody needs in their gear bag 100 percent what also was great besides the markings besides the color besides the glass is that overall it allows you to keep a shallow depth of field without having to bump up your aperture so that way your photos can be or videos can be evenly exposed now after using this and going through little test footage and photos one tip to me is definitely do not use it between a 10 to 15 millimeter considering that it does give a little of a vignette on the edges not because you know it's not like a regular one where it gives an X vignette it's also the fact that it also is made specially for out, outdoor scenery and stuff and we don't want to see that so definitely for sure stick between that 15 and up for sure if especially like for me I have a 10 to was it the 10 to 18 the 10 to 20 millimeter and it definitely like showed and I wasn't crazy about it but overall the blues the highlights the shadows of everything is fantastic 100% now big important question retail price what does it do $99 before tax and shipping of course you can calculate that and of course you need these adapter rings because you want to know if it fits your lens check those out as well we're gonna get right into those next but as far as this $99 I think it's pretty good for a premium quality made variable ND filter especially for smaller incoming filmmakers all the way up to higher end filmmakers such a cool product I personally use it for video specifically I haven't gotten a chance to use it on photos of course I could get the chance to do that especially like for night portraits or something where it's like a fast moving uh, subject so I could definitely use it in the field eventually and kind of just put that into perspective trying for photos but as far as videos wise it's my like main use okay so enough about that let's go right into the adapter rings which go all the way up from a 58 to an 82 they have about four sizes and it's kind of like whatever comes down to whatever size that you have 
right now mine I have a 67 and a 58 for my the 58 for my 18 to 55 because it's a lot smaller and then for my 10 to 20 which which is my widest lens which would be the 67 millimeter to 77 that's actually the thread size too so if you're wondering 77 millimeter for the variable ND filter you could pick this up for about like nine dollars a piece so it's not terrible um, it's like it's whatever it's you know worth it you know by the time you get the filter and you realize you need the adapter rings you might as well just order the whole thing and go past the limit and get free shipping all right enough chit chat about everything and the prisms and the filters and the adapter rings let's get right into the examples that I have for you guys today and we're gonna wrap up this video right after okay so what we're gonna do is go right into the examples so let's start off with video one now video one this is all the examples are gonna be taken right at the beach this is a video of the boardwalk in my local area this is just a simple you know drive around streets sky is uh, you know it's nice and blue but of course I can't see that but now as we're turning from the point three to a two one you're gonna start seeing those clouds exposed those shadows exposed the Sun is there and the road and the trees but you can see the vignette on the edges begins to grow because I'm going super wide for the shot just to see like I said this is all examples this is all test footage so as we go right into the next video we're gonna jump right into video two we're gonna change the angle a little bit we're gonna aim away from the Sun there's a uh, video of some shrubs and as we turn it you see the sky is so blue it makes all this color so vibrant I do see like a little bit of the vignetting of course again like I said you can't go too wide at least stick between a 15 and up this is just straight example all right we're gonna do one more example which is the third video uh, video three and this is kind of like a shot away from the sun again aiming towards the bridge with this little uh, sun cabana type of thing in the background we're just gonna turn the filter slowly you're gonna see that shallow depth of field still develop you know with an evenly exposed image you see the people walking by you can actually see them the clouds aren't like so vibrant and they're not blown out you know we definitely don't want that when it comes to our footage especially when it comes to clientele we want to make sure we have the most professional look as possible for anybody and not even when you're not working for yourself you know definitely make that a practice if you feel like that's something you struggle in make it a practice work on something every day maybe every other day or maybe other, every other week you know it takes 10,000 hours of practice to perfect something who knows maybe it could take even shorter for you okay it all comes down to is it worth it absolutely I definitely recommend picking these products up at prismlenseffects.com exclusively you cannot get these products anywhere else especially this variable ND filter just for $99 just right under $100 and this just right under $100 like you cannot go wrong with these products of course like there's so many uh, filters and you could stack them but like for starting definitely recommend these for sure now thank you so much guys I definitely appreciate it you know videos will be coming back over time I have just been you know very busy lately so we're gonna get right into that you know more busy schedule and more videos and just expanding my work and expanding for you guys along Instagram and YouTube which you should subscribe to and make sure you hit a follow down below at the link at rman underscore films I will also leave a link in the description to these two products so that you can check it out themselves along with the entire website sometimes they have sales sometimes they don't so make sure to follow also Jacob Owens and the prison lens effects page on Instagram thank you so much guys and have a wonderful day have a good night